show is about a trial that takes place in 1935 in Macomb, Alabama between Tom Robinson and the Ewell family because Tom Robinson, who is black, was accused of raping Mayla Ewell, who is white, and Atticus Finch um, is put on as the lawyer for their trial. My character, Atticus Finch, he's trying to prove Tom Robinson, a man accused of rape, innocent. This is 1935 in like Macomb, Alabama, so there's a lot of like racial divisions. It's the story of an innocent man who is wrongly accused for something he didn't do because of the way he looks. And you and me both know what the truth is. It's coming of age story for these two kids, Scout and Jim Finch, and also Dill, who is their friend. How they see it through their, through their eyes as children. Tracking their progress into growing up and all the horrors that they have to deal with, including like racism, especially in the 1930s. It's about loss of innocence. It's about kids understanding why the world isn't black and white. There are a lot of gray areas. Um, and it's about the few people in the world who do good, but they are rewarded by society. Do all lawyers defend Negroes? Yes, they do. Then why do the folks around town make it, make it seem like you're doing something bad? Scout, you're too young to understand some things. But there's been a, a lot of high talk around town that I shouldn't do much about defending Tom Robinson. But I'm going to defend that man. If they say you shouldn't, then why are you doing it? Well, the main reason being, if I didn't, I couldn't have much respect for myself, could I? The themes that To Kill a Mockingbird focuses on are themes that everyone should be exposed to, especially since a lot of the problems are still here today. It's an important message that needs to be heard by a lot of people because a lot of people think that racism and things of that sort are over and they're not and it's important to reopen people's eyes so they're aware of that. That's what our goal was for the play, to connect the current times, all the injustices and uh, racial prejudice that still goes on today. We really want to attack that and this is kind of our way of speaking towards that just from our little theater community at the school. Racism still exists. Even now, it's seeping into our younger generations, and I want them to be affected by that and know that it's affecting our children, your children's children. It's not going to go away unless you try. You shouldn't judge people by the way they look or what the stereotype of that person is. You see, you never really understand someone unless you look at something from his point of view. We should really get the message about <clears throat> everyone's the same no matter what. People will come to the play and think, wow, high school kids are doing this. They're talking more about this than like people in Congress or like other older people. They're taking a stance on it and telling us what it's all about. People should take away that the civil rights movement is not over. Whatever part of the play affects you most or whatever part of the play relates to your life, the most accurate way, I don't think they should forget that. Because that means that whatever they saw us do on stage hit home for them and they might have something that they need to change. In the bird, you do hear the mockingbird. Yes, sir. When Atticus gave Jem and me air rifles, he asked us never to shoot mockingbirds. And he's right. Mockingbirds don't do a thing but sing their hearts out. They don't nest in corn grubs. They don't eat people's gardens. They just sing. That's why it's a sin to kill a mockingbird. This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine, no, oh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine, no, oh, everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.